to the temple. Temple of Time. <gasps> we can get the Master Sword. I don't see a Master Sword. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't what it said on the tin. Damn it. <laughs> I take it this is the temple you're talking about, Umid. The architecture is stunning, though it's a shame to see it in different repair. Are there any clues about the legend? Please don't rush me. This is without doubt transfer and stone, but I can discern very little from the design. It's unfortunate the person who would know the subject best inca incapacitated. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Ah, look, there's a the keeper. Wait, she she's awake? Oh my god. The plot thinkens. The heck's up there? Those look like very intricate patterns. Can you tell what they mean, Professor? Hmm. No is an acceptable answer, you know, Leighton. You don't have to know everything. God. Magnificent candle. <laughs> awesome. I like this. What's over here? Face on a monument. Now I'm just... Now I'm just not even bothering, just seeing... Ah! Uh, sorry! Sorry! Oh no! Oh man! Oh, I'm so getting haunted. Ah, uh, dang it! I should not have done that. <laughs> I best steal this stone sheep and sacrifice it to appease the gods that I have offended. What's up here? Found hit coin. Guide being ever useful, by the way. <laughs> Search area for four hit coins. At least it's giving me how many, like. <gasps> oh no! Come on! Oh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop breaking everything. Just gonna, just gonna talk to you. Let's, let's carry on. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't wanna break anything, I'm not gonna touch anything. She's, okay, so she is asleep, she's just standing up. <laughs> she's sleeping standing up? She's been like this the whole time, she won't wake up, but she won't lie down either. It's pretty strange. Her legs must be terribly tired by now. F Phoenix! Wake the. <laughs> Wake the wake the z z You can't wake the z z z z z z is sleeping. Self Bureau lies sleeping. Wish I knew what she was on about. Well, I guess we should probably start looking around. Don't look around. Don't look around. I've bro I've already broken everything in sight. Let's just leave before they wake up, and we have to explain what we're doing here. Uh, yes, I know, Layton. You don't know how to, you don't know what anything is. So useless. <laughs> uh, what other murals could there be? There's this one here. Hmm. The music has just gone very ominous. Do you suppose there's a clue about the phoenix here? The temple appears to be dedicated to the phoenix legend. These stone slabs are, in fact, not gravestones but historical tablets. Oh, thank God they're not gravestones. Oh, I've only I've only broken historical tablets rather than gravestones. That's marginally better. At least I won't get haunted. Well, that's interesting, but it's not much use for us if we can't read them. Ellipses. What's this? Oh, this tablet is different from the others. You're right. It's like the writing we saw in the Azran Dome back in Call of Duty. Allow me to read it. The Phoenix grants guidance only to the chosen few, those who bear the celestial burden and complete the perpetual cycle. Igneous bird born of dawn's west rays. Cast your flaming wings over noon skies till your journey ends under an eastern moon. Okay. Those who complete the cycle, find your way to the entrance of the phoenix's protection. It is said that when the phoenix dies, it rises from its ashes reborn. One might say that it represents the circle of life. It's the- Okay, no. <laughs> I'm not going to break out into song. I've already sung too much tonight because I was playing around on the free trial of uh, Wii Karaoke U because... Why not? Because I do that. Because Zeba's out tonight. That's why I'm recording at like 2 in the morning. Zeba's out tonight. So I just was like... We karaoke you? Yeah! <laughs> it seems the tablet's asking us to depict the cycle in some way. Yet where is the most crucial element? The circle itself. What about the large mirror on the wall? Those engravings could represent a cycle, couldn't they? See the patterns around that central image? They look like suns to me. We might even be able to move them. Oh, we're gonna need a ladder to do that. Gee, look how tall it is. Like, that's the height of a person. That's the height of, like... Okay, so maybe say she's a short person. Like, maybe five... Let's, let's say five foot, because, you know, fair enough. So that's gonna be at ten foot, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 
It's about, you know, 40 to 50 feet up there. We're gonna need a ladder of some kind, so yeah, we better leave before we, uh, better leave and go get a ladder. Oh, okay. Dawn's west ray has gone on the left, noon skies indicate the top, and the eastern moon goes on the right. Okay. Dawn's west rays go on the left. Noon skies indicate the top. And the eastern moon goes on the right. Wait, I need, I need that to be that. And... I want that up there. I think I want that to be like that. Yay. I did something, and now there's an earthquake, and everyone's going to die. A tremor? Most likely a direct result of our having completed the puzzle. According to the tablets, that would mean that we should find our way to the entrance of the Phoenix's protection now. But I don't quite see what that signifies. Could it be the Sluice Gate? Perhaps the protection refers to the city's high walls, in which case the entrance of the Phoenix's protection would be the city's main gate. Okay. That makes absolutely no sense, but sure, I'll go. I'll go along with it for now. You know, whatever. I'll I'll go along with it. <laughs> whatever you whatever you say, Leighton's. If we interpret the Phoenix's protection to be in the city walls, then we enter it when we step through his gate. You really think it's that simple? I'm not seeing anything around here. Wait, what's that up there? Ooh, oh, this entire like city is just going to be like. Hardwired. Hardwired Azran. Ah, an Azran plaque. Okay. The plot thickens. Maybe I've just spent my whole life staring at my feet, but I'm pretty sure I've never seen the writing up there before. I can say with some conviction that whatever mechanism caused that tremor also revealed this tablet for us. We still can't think of what it says, though. I can help you there. You can read that all the way from down here, jeez. You must have good vision. From its ashes of birth, the reborn bird takes flight from the pinnacle of time and seeks respite westwards. Beyond lie six immovable mountains, the phoenix settles on the second peak before crossing another on her way to paradise. The mountains she touches are resplendent with eternal light. When all is true, the bird shall open her heart. The pinnacle of time would appear to indicate the clock tower now. Sure. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> Ah, that clock tower is an important monument in our city. We wind up every festival. It's never stopped, not even for a second. Most interesting. If we follow it westwards, then, as told in the inscriptions, we must look to the left. I don't see six immovable mountains anywhere, though. What's that supposed to mean? What about stone slabs along that beam? That works, okay. <laughs> so was this city built after the Azran, or... Did the Astram build the city and then people moved it? I, 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 I don't understand the logistics of how this city was built. And I think that is the most important topic of discussion right now. Don't question my logic. <laughs> Very observant, Aurora. Shall we see if they can be operated? It lands on the second peak and then crosses another, so we have to light up the right stones to match the story. Okie dokie. The phoenix settles on the second peak before crossing another. So that's that one first, and then like that one. Is there more story? <laughs> Do I have to uh, just kind of light them all? Oh, Alright, okay, so I can pull them on and I can take them off. And I'm guessing I have to light the correct ones. So, Phoenix settled on the second peak before crossing another. I don't know what this means. <laughs> I really don't know what this means. Can I? I, I want to see. Like, was that was that really the full uh, the full puzzle? Um. Sure. I'm not 100% sure I understand this particular... Uh, wait, wait, there's a phoenix there. What could that phoenix be implying? Those two? 
Okay. <laughs> eh, don't get it. <laughs> Trial and error is the best way to beat every single puzzle in this video game. Well, seeing you know, little secrets like this, it's also hard to believe. That rumbling was closer than last time. Sounds as though the Phoenix has op opened her heart to us. Perhaps heart would, be in would indicate the centre of the city. Wow, I never got that so quickly. Haha, <laughs> well a decade's worth of the Saturday cryptic. It does make one rather good at spotting wordplay. So you're smart because you solve crosswords? You know, my dad died when I was young, so I never got to know him, but I heard he was a quick thinker like you. Sounds like he would have been a wonderful father. Hmm. If my daughter was still alive, she'd have she'd be about your age too. <gasps> she is your daughter! Dun 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 Umid is actually a she and is Sick and Ball's daughter. Plot twist! Whoa! This is the new canon, by the way. You had doors, Professor? Ah, oh, forgive me, this isn't the time. I'm so sorry. Dad. Oh, that's in the past. What matters now is waking up to the people of Messinia. Um, if you're sure. We should go to the city centre then, and quickly. City centre? Alright. Oh my god, what the hell happened? Hmm, the statue is missing. I must say, I did not expect our actions to have such a noticeable effect on the town. Ah, uh, that's from technology. They never do anything by halves, do they? These ruins, along with the legend of the Phoenix, must have been a closely guarded secret. Fascinating, isn't it? If you permit me, I'd like to try my hand at deciphering the words inscribed. Its heart exposed, the Phoenix stirs. When life's essence flows from the Great Gate, the ancient bird will rise from slumber. Great Gate? Is that a metaphor? Oh, I believe the identity of our phoenix is about to come to light. We just need to follow the clues before. Let's locate this great gate. So, we talk about real gates? There can't be many, very many to choose from. The sluice gate by any chance? Herp a derp, derp a derp, derp a derp a derp a derp. <laughs> Not all gates are made for people. Huh, but then what would they be? <gasps> the sluice gate! Shock horror! I got it before you this time, Luke. Oh, yeah. I'm on the ball. I'm more on the ball at half three in the morning than I was when I recorded that last that that last set up for the island, and that was at like two in the afternoon. <laughs> this is my time to be awake. And all is in place. Good. Then back to the forest we go. Back into the forest we go. To the sluice gate. Let's do it. Ooh, an owl. <laughs> An owl! I shall grab you and put you in my pocket. Ah, yes. You shall come with me now, owl. You are mine. <laughs> everything is... Everything is... Uh, everything is coming our way. So, sluice gate. What do I want to do here? Do I have to do anything? Ooh, puzzle. I like puzzles. Yay. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything's changed since the last time. Yet some change undoubtedly occurred. If we open the gates, the inscriptions tell us to... Perhaps all will become clear. <laughs> what, this ancient thing? You really think it'll move? Of course. All we need to do is unlock it. Pearl? Why? Pearl's just sat, like, next to my dear. Okay, fair. Pearl, go on. Just, just go. <laughs> Pearl's number 85, the Phoenix Wakes. 30 pick rats. Do to do, do. Let us move that from the screen because she. Oh, she stepped on my mouse and caused it to right click. Let's move the mouse cursor away. To open the sluice gate, the puzzle embedded in this panel must be solved. Bound by the chains of eight moons, the phoenix shall remain asleep. Only with the power of the star stones may these chains be severed. The star stones. Okay. Uh, once the chains are severed, the freed phoenix will awaken. Place the stones according to the given rules and end the phoenix slumber. Pearl, Pearl, go over there. <laughs> Place the stones according to the given rule and end the phoenix slumber. What is the given rule? No stone can be connected to a stone whose number is one higher or one lower than its own. Okay. Oh, I know this one actually. I, I've, I've. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know this puzzle. 
Because, yeah, we got to get all the, like, the middle ones to the edges. Because the middle ones are the ones that are going to, like, connect to as many things as possible. So the three has to go there, the four has to go there. Pearl, stop trying to bite my headphone wires. Oh my god, she's she's awake. <laughs> I was hoping to do this while she was still asleep, dang it. Uh, okay, six, uh, eight and one are going to have to go in the middle. Not necessarily in that order. Wait, no, they can't go in the middle. No, one and two have to be separated. And then seven has to go there. Well, oh, wait, no, seven can't go there. They swap those two around. Um, oh, no, everything's falling apart. <laughs> Everything fell apart. That works. <laughs> should serve me well. I, usually I'm quite good at those. Usually I'm quite good at solving those. I don't know what was wrong today. <sighs> I guess it might just be the time of day, but... <laughs> yeah, whatever. I got there in the end. Please, you have to LP me. You want me to let's play you? Okay, are you a video game? I can I can let's play video games. 